but it's absolutely will really help you to take on Bart Ehrman if you need to in your own studies okay so the Bart Ehrman stuff read Bart Ehrman's material have a look at Dean Bergen have a look at the um, Bart Ehrman project that answers Bart Ehrman uh, don't forget Dr. Balcom, Jesus and the eyewitnesses. Another scholar to look out for is uh, Dr. Peter Williams. Have a look at some of his lectures. He's a massive scholar uh, and he does some amazing scholarship. Have a look at him. Uh, he does some great stuff. Um, what else is there? Who else is there to uh, consider? Um, yeah, on epistemology uh, and miracles, have a look at Dr. Keener. Dr. Keener's written a book on miracles. He was an ex he's an ex atheist. Uh, he's a giant scholar in New Testament studies. He's written a book on miracles, um, and that helps you think about the issue of David Hume on this issue, right? So, Dr. Keener. Uh, on his book of miracles is a good source material so all that source material is scholarly stuff that I'm recommending to you half of it is against my position half of it is for my position okay and that's what it's all about it's all about getting you to think and look at the research and look at this look at the source material to think for yourself and I would also encourage you to read primary source material in these debates with atheists, I've noticed that the atheist scholars, most of the time, or oh, another thing as well, Ludeman uh, is an atheist scholar. Have a look at Dr. Ludeman. Uh, he's uh, an important scholar that you can look at on the resurrection of Christ. Um, but source material is important. Primary source material. Read ancient source material. Read the Gospels. Read Paul's epistles read uh, the ancient literature uh, before the time of Christ, during the time of Christ, after the time of Christ, read Tacitus, read Josephus, read these ancient source materials and discover things yourself, don't just listen to scholars, okay? And, and go to the main scholarly sites where they have these primary sources. Um, you can find them all over the place, there's a lot of universities that have good material okay so that's just source material uh, for you to study this subject um, helping you to to really look into things right we're not we're not here just to win debates we're here to educate and help people to think these through these issues okay so that's the first part of the video second part of the video we're going to spend 15 minutes now we're not into 15 minutes but the next 15 minutes to be fair to Dan because he's did, done, it, done his video in 15 minutes so we'll spend now 15 minutes reflecting on his video okay okay um, Dan Courtney basically says that it's beholden to, to the Christian to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Jesus rose from the dead he gives four pieces of information here he says Jesus was at that we have to prove as Christians that Jesus was an actual human being that Jesus was dead prior to being placed in a tomb that Jesus was placed in the tomb as described in scripture and that number four Jesus was physically re restored to normal function then we have to also give the proof that of the God concept that God exists that God is sufficient to the resurrection and God is necessary for the resurrection okay um, then he says that he quotes Bart Ehrman who says that contemporary accounts are the best for histori historiography he then goes on to say um, that these accounts uh, the accounts of the Mormon uh, of Joseph Smith with the golden plates um, is very good uh, history we get primary source material of 